Hey, what's going on everyone? Joel Wallace here. So I was building out this camera kit for an upcoming shoot that we've got going on where we'll need to be able to transmit the video wirelessly over to a monitor for the director. And so I figured, you know, this is actually be a pretty cool setup to show off. So um, I'm gonna show you what I've got going on here with the Blackmagic Pocket 6K and the Hollyland Mars 300 and how I've got this all configured. So let's jump on in. All right, so what I've got going on here, since we need to be able to transmit our video from our Blackmagic Pocket 6K camera over to our monitor here, and this one's the Atomos Ninja Inferno. And so, Basically to do this is I'm using the Hollyland Mars 300 and you'll have your transmitter on your camera and then you'll have your receiver onto your monitor. The really cool thing with this is that you'll get about 300 feet away with this setup. There are other options if you need to be able to go further, you can get a 600 foot and a thousand foot with their Hollyland Cosmo line. In this setup, we really wanted to be able to have the camera handheld. I have this rigged out so that way we have a side handle added to it so now we're to get a nice good handheld feel with it and then for the director i really wanted to make this more compact and like lightweight for him with this one i'm using a switch pod and this will give us a handle and it transforms to a tripod so now the director can now have this handheld and be able to walk around i also wanted to make it as easy as possible so i'm just using sony mpf batteries to power this whole setup here so it's super portable and we only need one type of charger and battery for this application. So now the director can walk around and he has this handheld and then if he ever needs to set it down you can just fold these right out and now it can sit like that and it's super stable so it's really not going anywhere. Now for powering the Blackmagic Pocket 6K, I'm actually using the Core Swix, the PowerBase Edge battery. Now the cool thing with this battery is actually I'm getting a dual purpose out of this. I'm able to power the camera as well as I'm able to power the transmitter for the wireless video. So kind of killing two birds with one stone Again, making it as simple as possible. And if you're curious about all the parts that I've used for this build, I'll list them out down below in the description for you in case you wanna build this out for yourself. But let's uh, see how far away this monitor can go from this transmitter. Even though it's line of sight, I'm gonna see if we can go around the walls here and see if we can still get transmission. So for this distance test, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Jesse, this is my colleague, and so he's gonna be my stand-in. So while I'm gonna go roam with the monitor to see how far away we can go and if we can go past line of sight. I'm gonna have Jesse here. He's gonna stand in front of the camera and keep making movements so that way we know that when he freezes that we lost picture or lost connection with it. So let's give this a shot. Jesse behind the camera, we have the monitor here. So let's see how far we can go. All right, so we've now just went into another room here. So now we're def definitely not line of sight. And we still have Jesse. Looks like he was just trying to put on a wig and be cool, smooth, very smooth, Jesse. But uh, let's uh, keep cruising on through here. So we have passed, that's the studio. And now we're going over into the other side of the building. This is pretty impressive, guys. Like these walls, if, just to show you, this is concrete in this building. And this is supposed to be a line of sight monitor. There's my lunchroom and the studio was well past that. And you can see there's concrete walls and we're still getting Jesse moving around. So let's keep cruising and see how far we can go. All right, now I am in my showroom. Jesse is back in through, down there, all the way over to the side. And we're still getting, oh my gosh, he's a trip. But uh, we're still getting transmission. Again, this is supposed to be line of sight and this is going through concrete walls. Let's just keep going, how far can we go? I'm gonna go outside. All right, Z, we're now outside of the building. It's gonna be kind of harder to see, but it looks like we may have froze. So I think we just lost video as soon as I went outside of the building here. 
So even though it froze, this was still an awesome test to be able to see that we were pretty much able to go around the whole building until we went outside, we lost connection. And then the cool thing with this is now I just walked right back inside and this immediately picked up connection again. So I do know that by going outside the building, we did lose connection, but I still have more building to go. So we're gonna keep cruising. I'm now going into my office here. There's my marketing lady, Vera. Hi. Hey. And looks like we froze again. So we're really pushing this to the max. And we're gonna head back out of the office and see if we can reconnect. There he is. So back in the end of my showroom, we've got Thomas and Chris over there working hard. <laughs> but anyway, just to show you guys, that's a really cool distance test. All right, well that wraps it up for this video today. If uh, you'd like to know more or have any questions about this build and this setup, feel free to email me. I'll put my email address down below or feel free to ask away in the comments. And if you wanna know more um, with, about what Jesse, he does a podcast on DVE or DV Gear Talk? DV Gear Talk on iTunes and Spotify. Be sure to check that out. He's got some really good information and cool content. So, and be sure to like, subscribe and follow. Thank you guys.